We got the spearmen out, he knows knights are on the way, but these are spearmen, they're not going to be very good against knights, and they're just going to crush through that palisade, and right now Jamie Lee Ross knows he is in trouble. This is not looking very good at all, in fact, we might be seeing an early GG in the first round of, oh, there it is, first round of Michael Michael's Hidden Cup, the finals, she takes it. And the first round, 1-0 to Judah Collins. And with such a dominating performance too. These armies are out of position. She's going to lose all of her conquistadors if she's not careful. Couple of villager picks on the wood line. They could go inside this tower. Here we are. Not in the best spot for Judith Collins. This should turn out to be quite a nice engagement for Jamie Lee Ross as he trades reasonably well. All of these hussars, this, uh, like cavalry at the uh, front, very, very cheap. However, they still go down. There's just been too much of a mass of conquistadors there. And confused about this, this is going to get that troop sniped. What are you doing? Was that a misclick, I think? He could be fighting this. He needs to send all these guys in. He needs to save this trebuchet. The castle slowly going down, but that was a huge mistake. Army caught out of position by Jamie Lee Ross, and he loses his trebuchet practically for free. Going in against those bombards, but use it. Oh, and a big shot there by the bombard cannon, taking out several skirmishes. And where is your army now, Jamie Lee Ross? Oh, and he's going to get caught out of position. His army needs to fight this back fast enough. He has no halberdiers. He's teched into halberdiers, but hasn't made any. And all of these bombard cannons look like they're going to be cleaned up by the hussars of Jamie Lee Ross. That's a huge blow for Judith Collins. I need a better answer than this. Ow. Well, I like this. I agree. Ignore it. Go raid some. Oh, I love this, in fact. This is really fantastic. What's going on over here? Meanwhile, back in Jamie Lee Ross's base, this town center's gone down. And it's a massacre. It was neck and neck for a while there, but Jamie Lee Ross calls the GG on his home map. It's down 2 0. And it's spotted. Will it get denied? These villagers coming over here to fight or to distract? A fight. I think it might have been better off to focus the watchtower there, uh, personally, because a lot of these villagers are going to get micro down. Tude of Collins is just going to move them around. Very good unit control uh, just there. And we had these galleys come out and completely destroy all the fish for Tude of Collins. She has no farms. She has no food economy apart from these berry bushes right now. We have emergency farms coming out. So that's the damage that that can do. She was heavily relying on all those fishing ships. She was all of these archers are going to hit all these weak villages on the wood line. We just got to Castle Age. That nice fast castle time. Jamie Lee Ross, thanks to having all that food. These villagers getting caught out. He needs to keep these villagers alive. Fight with the villagers on the front. Maybe not the best idea. These archers do have vodka. Oh, I didn't call it, did I? I thought they were going to go for a dock. What is this? What is this monstrosity on a hill? This is like one of those shitty... Um, houses on the hill in Maheki that overlook the water and mar the landscape. On pikemen, what is the pike? What are the pikemen gonna do? You're fighting Mayans. This is terrible for Jamie Lee Ross, and I have no idea why he thought pikemen were a good idea. They're not a good idea. They have hard countered by these crossbowmen. What is the strategical decision? Aren't they magnificent? Look at that. That is uh, shit. And they're really, they're killing the scene, actually, they're terrifying. Um, they've got a decent amount of armor on them, too. They're just really good at running in like this. This is exactly what they're meant to be used for. And they'll just run in, they'll kill some villagers. There's only seven of them here, that's cheap as chips. And look how much damage they're doing. This is a lot of damage, uh, regardless. And Judith Collins would be quite happy to let those uh, little that little contingent die for the amount of damage that she got off. Very, very ballsy castle coming up here by Judah Collins, but she has the army to defend it. And these skirmishes, they're just so weak, they don't have the upgrades, and they cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Arbalister like this. Look at that 90kg pretty car go over 300 meters. Whew, damn. A little bit of a trebuchet war going on here, actually, too. You notice trebuchets have very poor accuracy, so they're very bad against um, units. Uh, it's going to get that trebuchet down. He's going to unpack... Maybe go somewhere a little bit more safe. Desperately trying to get some more towers up by Jamie Lee Ross. He's trying to make a wall of towers across the uh, map. These arbalists are going to try to get some easy hits on these trebuchets. Fighting an uphill battle of this, but she does have the numbers, and this could work. And she is desperate enough to take out these trebuchets. They have caused a lot of damage. A lot and a lot of damage. And they're continuing to take out her trebuchets. There's one more, she could probably do it. 
We've got a fantastic tech switch going on here from Judith Collins. No doubt she'll be thinking, I need to add some Eagle Warriors. It's time to raid my opponent into the ground. And I wouldn't be surprised, and you can see a lot of Eagle Warriors queued up here. Squire, here they are. Um, these guys, they run around like knights, they're very fast, and they're nasty. And these guys are looking for something to raid, but you can't swim. <laughs> you can't swim, Mr. Eagle Warrior. With this kind of army composition, we're starting to see the final days, I think, of Jamie. 